What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Super Sabra. What's up, bra? What, what a up? bra? What is a bra? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Support. It's support. Like us. Yeah, like friends. <laughs> <laughs> A bra is like friends like for your Like friendship. Boobs. It's yes. called support. It's called support. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're back. Uh, this time, Ryan George is back with another pitch meeting. This is the Miss Marvel pitch meeting. We both love this show. I love this show. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I really enjoyed so it. So good. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what Mr. George has to say about this. But before we get into it, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon if you are enjoying what you're watching. And uh, upvote this video as well if you're enjoying what you're watching. Yeah, basically just do it if you're having a good time. Yeah, great, because we're having a good time right here as well. <laughs> also, if you want to have more good times, don't forget to join us on Memberships on Patreon, where we have a lot of great content for you. Watch alongs galore. So with that being said, let us jump into this. So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. Miss <laughs> Marvel? I mean, honestly, we've been putting out so much content, I haven't really had the chance to get nostalgic. That's no, this is a show <laughs> called Miss Marvel about this 16 year old Kamala Khan. Oh, and what's her deal? Well, she freaking loves the Avengers, sir, especially Captain Marvel. She has all her merch. Oh, we're even making fictional money off of merch. I like that. <laughs> Kamala has this friend Bruno, and it seems like he's got a little crush on her. Aw, teenage love. And she's gonna meet this new kid, Cameron, and it seems like he has a little crush on her. Oh, him too. Okay. okay. And later in the show, she's gonna meet this guy, Kareem, and it seems oh like God. he's got a little crush on her. Him as well, also. Ah. All right, him too. And she also has this brother, Amir. Oh no. oh, no. And he's gonna get married soon. Oh, thank God. So, <laughs> yeah, Kamala really wants to go to this Avengers convention, but her parents are super strict. They don't want her to go. Okay. But she sneaks over to it anyway, dressed like Captain Marvel, and that's where she discovers she has powers. How did she get powers? By putting on this bangle from her grandma mother and getting powers from it. Oh, that was pretty simple. Okay, neat. Yeah. So she ends up saving this girl from something that she herself caused, and now she's a secret superhero. That's oh, wow, true. wow, 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 wow. So anyway, yeah. later she's gonna find out that that guy Cameron and his mom Najma are part of this group called the Clandestines. And what's her deal? Well, they're from another dimension and they've been stuck here for like 80 years and they need Kamala's help to get back. Right. But then Bruno's like, well, that might be dangerous. So Kamala's like, okay, well, I'm gonna take a minute to think about this. Yeah, I mean, that's totally fair. But yeah. Then Najma hears about that and she goes nuts and they all attack Amir's wedding. They've been yeah. waiting for 80 years and they can't wait a couple more days for Kamala to think yeah. about yes. it. That's, that's what we're going with. Yeah. These people have some yeah. little powers of their own, so they're pretty dangerous and they'll straight up kill people. They don't care. Oh no. But then these federal agents from the Department of Damage Control show up and arrest all the bad guys. Jeez, well I guess they must interrogate all the guests from the wedding too, huh? They do not. So then uh. Kamala's grandmother calls and she's like, hey listen, you guys gotta come to Karachi right now. Now, so they get on a plane and head over there. So not only do they not interrogate anyone, they let them leave the country as well. Oh yeah, they're comically incompetent, sir. Yeah, sure sounds um, that way. But they do take the clandestines into custody. Wow, is it gonna be tough for them to break out? Actually, nope. it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, they just kinda, they just kinda do it. They just kinda break out immediately. Well, these damage control people are terrible at controlling damage. They sure <laughs> yeah. are. Sir. So then in Karachi, Kamala meets these people called the Red Daggers. And what do they do? Well, they have a very nifty PowerPoint presentation to explain alternate dimensions and stuff. They just had that ready to go? Yeah, I mean, people always have expository presentations ready to go in the MCU. Of That's course. a good point. Weird that we yeah. don't ever see anyone preparing those. Kind of. So then they show her that if the clandestines <laughs> manage to open up this veil to the Nord dimension where they're from, that'll basically destroy the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. The world is at stake? It rarely isn't, sir. Jeez, what? <laughs> I wonder if the world's gonna end. Maybe this time it will, you know? Maybe this is the time. Nope. Man, that's high stakes. I hope the world doesn't end. I hope it keeps going. Well, stay tuned to the rest of the pitch to find out, sir. I will. So anyway, later Najma <laughs> stabs the bangle, which sends Kamala back to 1942 during the partition. She can time travel? Yeah, I guess so. So then she saves her own grandmother's life and then comes back. Good, good. It's good that she did that. Yeah, she had to make sure that she'd be born one day. I think it'd be really good for the show if the main character was born. I agree. So yeah. then when she comes back to the present time, the veil is open, but it turns you into a 
skeleton if you touch it. Those are from Halloween. They sure are, sir. So then Kamala convinces Najma that if she ended the world, her son would be sad about that. So she decides not to end it. Oh, cool that it was so simple to change her mind after eight decades of determination. Yeah, so she transfers her powers to her son, which is a thing that she can do, and then she closes the veil and turns into a skeleton. Wow, well, that's a nice message. Mm. What is? Well, you know, maybe the real skeletons were inside us all along. <laughs> Yeah, that's not technically wrong. Uh, nice. All right. Bro. Not technically being wrong <laughs> is tight. So, okay, Sick so moving that. on. So then they got to go back to America because Cameron cannot handle these new powers. Uh -oh. So Kamala's parents give her a cool new costume so she can go save the day and help out. I thought they were super strict and protective. Yeah, but now that she defied them yeah. a bunch and did a whole lot of dangerous stuff, they're like, yeah, you, you we, we can trust you now. What? So all the kids go to their <laughs> high school, but then damage yes. control shows I mean, that up. Doesn't How'd they find sense. them? Well, one of the kids asked that question, but another one's like, it doesn't matter. Matter. But how did they, though? Hey, shut up. So now they're outside, <laughs> and they've got the school surrounded. Man, well, it's going to be tough for a group of kids to get out of that situation. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Did we oh, have really? Two super yeah, see, easy they rig moments? up the school no. home alone style, and they take these guys out with science and with yeah. softball launchers. It sounds like it takes super long to set up. Why didn't the agents just go in? Because. So then these agents try to shoot Cameron dead, but Kamala jumps in and saves him. They tried to shoot a kid? They did. Yeah. yeah. They said they would use use non-lethal so force and then immediately used lethal force. Mm -hmm. Yikes. So then Kamala punches a hole in the ground and he escapes to Pakistan. How deep was that hole? <laughs> I know, right? No, like what are you talking about? And then Bruno's gonna <laughs> and he discovered she has a mutation. That's the word from the other thing. It sure is, sir. And then Kamala swaps places with Captain Marvel. Very exciting and confusing. And so that's about it. What do you think? Oh, well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe we put this out at the same time as that Obi-Wan Kenobi show we're doing. <laughs> uh, is that the best strategy, sir? Feels like people are gonna want to watch Obi-Wan instead of Miss Marvel, maybe. Nah, I think it'll be fine. Facts. Yeah. I feel like the Honest trailer also brought up a lot of those yeah. same points. There were a lot of things that were weird and that were like, oh wow, that's very convenient. Isn't it? But I mean, so is every Marvel Star Wars fantasy show. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I think for me, it's like, did you enjoy being in this world and going on the ride? I absolutely did. Yes. Were there definitely moments like, okay, her parents suddenly trusting them? It's like, okay, in what world do your Asian parents never suddenly be like, oh, you're not grounded for ten thousand years for running away in Lahore? You like, can risk your life because you have superpowers. My mom would be like, if you die. I'll kill you first. <laughs> I'll find a way to go back in time and kill you before you die doing yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, no, you're dead if you die. That was extremely unrealistic. And also like the whole DODC being extremely incompetent. Yeah, like, but that to me is actually the most accurate part of the show. Like no offense, actually all offense, American government and FBI, CIA, police have shown a lot of incompetence. Well, I mean- it's, Not always, but a lot. Speaking to that, though the whole thing where they suddenly open fire with live ammunition rounds on a bunch of kids accurate accurate but also i wish that wasn't accurate i know you know it's sad yeah it is but then like some of the things like clandestines when they're like they've waited 40 years or 80 years, 80 years yeah. and then they're like no but now we're gonna come to your brother's wedding now yeah <laughs> that was like a really weird switch and i wonder as well if like this is the thing that jabby has been complaining about for you know ever that that is the problem sometimes with having such a limited amount of episodes because you can't explore that. For the sake of the story, it has to be like something has to happen now. Yeah, they can't wait. It's like a really weird 180 switch where they're really nice to her and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you need to take a second to decide whether you want to put the world at stake in order to save us and we're gonna kill you now <laughs> until you give us what we want. It's like, what, where'd that come from? Yeah, like, that's so true. And then in terms of the three guys, like I, I kind of love that because you don't often see it. You often see it with uh, lead male characters where they have like a plethora of different girls and women they like that they're deciding between. But it was cool to see it in the flip flop because it's accurate for everyone. Like everyone going through puberty. Like I just watched the show The Summer I Got Pretty. It's like that's what Kamala Khan had. She had The Summer I Got Powers. Yeah. And, like men, the boys were eating it up. There were a lot of things about the show where I was like, yeah, this feels, this feels like. Like, never have I ever with yeah, superpowers. Yeah. You know, I love like, that show. yeah, it's super cute, right? I mean, definitely as well with like the love square. 
I was going to say the love threesome. Yeah. That sounds wrong. Trying, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a not square. a triangle. It's a square. It's a square. It's like a, <laughs> but I, I never even considered that dude from Red Daggers was a potential love interest. I thought they were related. And the only reason between this and Honest Trailers, I'm like, was there? A, yeah. yeah. I didn't why, think so either. Why did we not really pick up on that? Because when I saw the way they were interacting, I was like, oh, they're cousins. just friends. Or I thought cousins it was like or family. something. Yeah. yeah, like they're just close like that. He's like an annoying big brother or something I but guys are always like if there's a guy in the re- there's no friendship yeah <laughs> it's romantic i have i have heard that if a guy is like oh we're just friends it basically means that he is unable to get into your pants right now yeah. but given an opportunity to do that later he's he ready will definitely take it <laughs> what is up with that I, I don't know maybe we've just been mistold i feel like there has to be some sort of platonic male female relationship out there i have some guy friends I have many guy yeah, friends. Yeah. I just don't want to think about them, you know. If given the opportunity. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Hard friend zone. I walked in on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Javi just got back in the middle of this, like, proper girl talk. That was a lot of fun. He made some really, really excellent points, mm-hmm. but still enjoyed the show. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I felt about Obi-Wan since he mentioned it. It's like, I loved so much of it that I'm okay with the stuff that, you know, was a little bit wedged in there or didn't yeah. make sense. It's neither are perfect, but they both, I love them both. Yeah. It's, we're here. We're here for yeah. the ride. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to She-Hulk oh my gosh, coming up next. I'm sure there'll be like a fun pitch meeting yeah for that as oh well. my gosh yeah i know there will be <laughs> yeah for sure you guys if you are having fun don't forget to subscribe click that bell icon so you know when we drop the next video and upvote this video basically we're just asking for validation <laughs> so please press <laughs> buttons to validate our existence here on earth thank yep. you yeah we'll catch you next time i'm achara kirk this is steph sabra ciao